Extensive cleanup also underway in West Suburban Geneva. High winds uprooted dozens of trees, sending huge branches into windows and roofs. Damage was concentrated on one subdivision, Pepper Valley, and that's where our Noel Brennan spent the day. Yard work is on the must-do list for many in Geneva. A little storm damage and everybody's out, all the neighbors are out they haven't seen. The Pepper Valley neighborhood is more than peppered with debris. Everybody's everything is kind of disheveled. After Tuesday's powerful storm, Jeff Deacon knows he fared well. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Most are taking care of the cleanup on their own, but for others, it's too heavy a lift. One street, one block away, looks like uh, a direct hit. Can you believe the swing set that's yeah. in the that's in the yeah. neighbor's yard? Around the corner on Essex Court, yep. Devin Billiter is in disbelief. That thing is so heavy, I just can't even figure out how the heck that went over the fence. It's insane to me. Her backyard in this state is uninviting, but her house? Uninhabitable. I mean, it's just crazy. I guess I was one of the worst hit houses. Lucky me. Devin says she was in her bedroom Tuesday night as tornado sirens blared and the house began to shake. Obviously, the pieces of the insulation and the asphalt and the dust all were circul circulating throughout the house. She says the roof over her garage lifted like the lid of a trash can. And then when it slammed it back down, it collapsed the sunroom and the foyer. There's some major roof damage. Pieces of my roof are in the tree. And pieces of tree are all over roofs. Joe, you can actually see the tree on top of his house. All the trees in the neighborhood have come down. I mean, this is my neighbor's tree that fell over the fence line. Damage to property, but not people. Nobody was hurt by any accord, which is a miracle. Pepper Valley keeps it all in perspective. Don't sweat the small stuff. As they clean up together. That's about it here. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Just reminder, a reminder, CBS News Chicago is always streaming when severe weather hits. You'll find us on the news and opinion page on Pluto TV and through the CBS News app on Fire TV and Roku.